What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. Another Athlean Express video for you today showing you how to get those obliques to start popping to be gill-like, fish-like in nature, right? The ones where we see the lines coming down the side here. It's actually not that hard. You gotta train them the right way and you have to make sure that you're exposing them. The way you expose them, guys, is really simple. It's by eating well, right? Your nutrition has to be in check. The only fish you're gonna look like if you don't have your nutrition in check is a blowfish. And that ain't going to look so impressive. If you want to look like a fish, like a shark, with gills coming down the side, you got to make sure that you're eating properly. And once that's in check, you got to make sure you're training the right way. So the good news is you've all got obliques. You can't use a genetic excuse that says, I don't have them. No, you've got them. we got to get them to show. And when we do, you have to make sure you're training them the right way. I've got an exercise here for you that you probably long ago threw away. The side crunch. That's a great way to train your obliques with no equipment in any setting. Most of the guys like to train at home. You could do it right there in your house, but you have to do it the right way. So, that being said, here's the function of the oblique. We know that it actually flexes the spine, okay? But it also rotates to the opposite side so that when this oblique is contracting, it's rotating to the opposite direction across the body, all right? So, if we know that, you have to have some sort of a rotational component to your side crunch. Watch as I do this side crunch exercise. What I want you to notice is the movement is way smaller than you may think it is. See, I'm really concentrating on the upper portion of the movement. I don't care if my elbow gets down to my hip. I see guys try to touch their elbow to their hip. Who cares about that? What you have to focus on here is as I'm flexing, I'm trying to rotate a little bit towards you, towards the camera, in that opposite direction to really get those obliques to be working. And again, I come down, I do it slow. You'll see the wrong version here. You probably see the guys doing this all the time, or you might be doing it yourself, where you're focusing too much on getting your body up and off the floor, or getting that elbow towards the hip, or yanking on your neck trying to think that you're covering and shortening that distance when all you're really doing is giving yourself a neck ache. All right, so the idea is keep the movement way up at the top. So when you're doing it, you're right up here. You're right at the top, just to the top, and you're really trying to contract the muscle that you're trying to work. See, this is one of those A to B situations that I always talk about. Anybody can get from point A to point B. It's whether or not you get from point A to point B the right way. That's the only thing that will ever matter because with muscles, it's all about tension, and it's all about applying that tension in a direct place. And here for the obliques, you have to make sure you're doing it the right way. So hopefully this quick little video has shown you the correct way to do it. And most of all, it's reinforced to you guys the value of A to B. It's never about getting to point A to point, uh, just getting to point B. It's about the journey and how you get there. And if you don't get there through a quality contraction, you might as well not have gone on that journey in the first place. If you guys want a step-by-step -step journey to get you guys in the best shape of your life, then you have to head to athlinex.com, see how we train like an athlete, see where everything matters. Little things matter because when you do them the right way, they add up and you start to see results a lot faster. Head to athlinex.com right now and grab our 90-day training program. In the meantime, if you found this quick tip helpful, make sure you leave a thumbs up and let me know what else you want me to tell you about and I'll be glad to make videos about them. Alright guys, I'll be back here again real soon.